Hello everybody, this is Strict9 with Strict9 GP and welcome to episode 9 of my Out of the Park Baseball 18 playthrough with the Phillies. Uh, we are now into the pennant chase and we are hanging on by a thread. It has been a tough, tough uh, couple of months. Uh, the last uh, episode we got up to just before the trading deadline and I knew I was going to have to make some moves to stay in the race and hopefully close it out. And I picked up a couple of guys who one helped, one had the potential to help, but he got injured. And now I'm just barely alive. Fortunately, um, the good thing about this is after playing pretty hot for a while, the Mets and the Braves have kind of cooled off. And I'm three and a half games up on the division. And the Mets, Nationals, Braves are all tied. Uh, at second and Marlins hanging tough too just a game back so this is going to be a tough race I've got 20 games left you can see of the teams in this division I've probably got the toughest schedule of anybody maybe Atlanta has a tougher schedule uh, in terms of the three teams there who are really chasing me and I guess Marlins have an outside chance but 20 games remaining. I got 10 home, 10 away, but I'm playing 488 against uh, the remaining schedule. So that's not looking too good when the Mets, Nationals, those guys are both pretty comfortably over um, 500. And look at the Mets. 19 games remaining, 16 at home. Uh, this is going to be this is going to be a nail biter. Hopefully, though, the Mets, they've lost eight in a row. Um, so maybe, maybe that'll keep up. Maybe they're just going into a prolonged slump. Uh, but I've still had some injury problems, which that's been an issue, of course, for almost the entire season. Um, looking at the disabled list now, I lost Sluzerek, who was setting them in to the starting first base job, having a decent year. He's going to be gone for the rest of the season, or at least... Uh, into the playoffs if we make it that far. Lewis finally just gave it up and he got injured with a fractured ankle. Uh, was starting maybe to even bounce back, but he got hurt and that kind of did it for him. And then Josh Mast was a guy I picked up right before the uh, trading deadline. And I traded, um, let me see, I, no, I claimed him off waivers, sorry. And I thought this guy might have some potential long-term. He's got good uh, good batting ratings overall. He's only 27. And I put him in at left field. And he hasn't done too well for me, but I'm thinking he might be in the mix for the next couple of years for that starting left field job. We'll see how that plays out. He's got great uh, personality ratings, which might help me out. And the other guy that I picked up, uh, just looking at my transactions, um, one of the good things about it is the players that I picked up had some really good um, personality ratings, and I think the team chemistry was probably boosted by that. I got a notice right away when I picked up uh, this one guy, Freeman, who I picked up in the trade for Quentin Holmes. Now that I, after I picked up Mast, I kind of had room to get rid of Holmes, who wasn't really contributing. And I picked up this guy, Tyler Freeman, who has uh, great personality ratings. He's a captain personality class, and that gave me a boost. And he has definitely been needed after uh, Royce Lewis got injured. I think I'm playing him right now at short, but I needed him in that infield. And he has been really on fire since he joined the team. He's hitting 350 for me uh, overall, 863 OPS. He has some good speed, good defense, so I'm glad I picked him up. So that's the way it's looking, and that's um, hopefully going to be the kind of thing that's going to carry me through to the playoffs is, is maybe a boost in team chemistry and we can start playing well. And it's going to be a quick test because we start out the first three games here away at New York. And I'm just going to go ahead and play through, send through these games and see if we can hang on and, and make the playoffs. So let's get started. First game against New York. And we win in extra innings, 10 inning. 
uh, Machado hit his 500th home run. That's a good thing for him. He's cementing his um, MVP, or excuse me, Hall of Fame credentials. Sorry, I'm just going to keep up with the news as much as I can. Let's see how, how we did in this game. Who was the star? Oviedo, a good game. Elman, who's coming, who's come back and started playing really strong for me. Good game from Coriolan. Um, <clears throat> Castro blew the save, but we uh, held on and won it for him. So that was a huge win. That puts us uh, four and a half now over the Mets. So let's see if we can at least win the series. And we win again. That is awesome. 6-5 over the Mets. Vargas had a good game leading off. Uh, looks like Ochoa may have hit another home run. Kurt Gowdy pitched six innings, didn't get the win. Castro picked up his 30th save. And uh, let me see. Looks like I might. Cubs are already out of the playoffs. Looks like Mass, too, is the guy that I had picked up off waivers. He's ready to come off the DL. So let me see if I can put him back in the lineup. He bats right. He's got good ratings against righties. Great ratings against lefties. I'm going to start him for sure at left against uh, righties. So that's that's going to be a must right there. I might let him start every sixth game. And uh, play him in that four spot. And then I'm going to go ahead and put him every, let's say, fifth game with Elman there in left. I'll leave Elman starting for now against righties, but Mass might be a good guy to have off the bench at this point, too. So uh, let me put him, since he's not starting, let me put him in the Yeah, give him, he doesn't have any speed, but let me give him a chance to at least hit for me. All right, let's go ahead and see if we can keep it going. We're up three and a half still. The Braves are starting to get hot. Oh, we lose the last game of the series, but that's all right. We, we, uh, we still picked up ground over the Mets. Uh, so Plyler shut out. It looks like we were shut out there. So that's a complete game shut out. Um, Barrios, who's their pit, best pitcher, um, great game from him. He's having a good year, 14 and three, uh, 309 ERA. He's he's having a good year. So right now we're three games over 500, but we picked up a game on the Mets. So now we're playing Cincinnati. This uh, at least we're playing at home. Oh, bad start. Bad start. 12-3. Good thing, though, is Ramos is able to come off. Uh, I missed him. He had been injured for a few weeks. I'm going to just put him back in the setup. How did we lose this one? 3-12. Lockfeld. Man, he's been up and down. He hasn't... Uh, he's picked up 11 wins for me, but he hasn't been consistent. Maybe that'll come with time. I lost another one. Oh my gosh. Washington's wanting to trade. I think it's a little bit too late for that. Lost three to five uh, in extra innings. Mast had a two for five game. Uh, Rhea didn't pitch a bad game, but Castro. That's one thing about um, closers I don't like to see. That's his sixth loss as a closer. So in 10 innings, how, how did we lose this one? Looks like, uh, yeah, he gave up two runs. Two runs in two innings, not good from him. So let's see if we can hold on and win this last game of the series. And we do, 4-2. to two. So it looks like a good pitching game for us. Uh, Freeman, Ochoa, they walked him three times in that game. That's the kind of reputation he has as a hitter. He, he can be pretty tough when he gets on. Coriolan picked up his 11th win, a complete game from him. So he's my fifth starter, not bad. So now we're... Let's see if we finish this day. We are two and a half games up over the Braves, and next up is Washington. Um, and Nova, that could be good news. He's recovering well. He might be able to come off the DL in a few days. Uh, and he 
news from my guys. Mm, not really. The power rankings were 15th. So we are, gosh, we're like halfway through. So this is a tough series. Four games and we're away for the first two. This might be a makeup. Or one of those is a makeup. I don't know how they did that scheduling. But Washington, they're 70 and 79. They've slipped a little bit. So let's hope they're playing poorly. Double header and we split. Uh, won the first one 5 1 on the road. Elman had a good game. Uh, Gowdy, a good game. Eight in the third, just one earned run, picked up his ninth win. And then in the second game, two to five, uh, we're back playing home. Elman had another good game. Shremsher got knocked around a little bit. Uh, but it looks like bad news. Elman, eh, it's minimal. And this is the playoff push, so he's going to stay in there. Not going to take him out right now. So after today, we're now, looks like, Still two games up over the Mets, who, who won, and then Atlanta, two and a half out. So, come on, let's keep it going. Playing our old guy, Rocker, here. And we won, six to three. Very big win. Uh, Barge had a good game, three for four. He's having a good rookie season. He picked up some power numbers, 15 home runs. Um... Smith, a good game. Dahl, good and uh, pitch hit there. It looks like he may have had a pitch hit home run. And we got the win from Lockfeld. That's good. And Castro picked up his 31st save. So we're still hanging in there. Hanging in there. 77 and 74. Uh, Tampa Bay is in the playoffs again. We'll look at that as the season ends here. Last game against Washington. Ah, we won 3-1. So we are now, we won three of four from them. That was a good series. We're 78 and 74. We moved up three games over the Mets. Whew. Ochoa, good game. And looks like Rea picked up his 12th win. Good game from him. He's had a good season overall. Castro is 32nd save. Um, feeling the pressure. Nova's coming off. Um, nothing really going on there. Looking at the standings, uh, our magic number's down to seven with ten to play. So let's keep it going. Playing at Colorado, who they're already eliminated. So three-game series. Let's see how this plays out. Lost the first one, five, six, and extra innings. A lot of these news messages right now are just going to be who's in the playoffs, who's not. Um, that was a tough game. I hate to lose in extra innings like that. Barge had a good game. Masked a pretty good game. Uh, pitching Coriolan, another strong game from him, but Castro, his sixth blown save. I really wish I had a more reliable closer there. And, ooh, that was a big win for us, 14-4. to four. So, got a little boost, I guess, from that Colorado um, thin air there. Vargas, a great game, four for five, scored four runs, drove in three. Barge still playing good. His average is up to 294. Ochoa, a good game from him. Uh, offensively, that was a very good game all the way around. Shremsher didn't last past four innings, so that's unfortunate for him, but we still picked up that win. And uh, Vargas hit for the cycle. Oh, wow. He hit for the cycle in that game. Good, good for him. And then it looks like I got a. Scouting fine, but man, those have been really pretty slim. So here, let's see if we can get the series, and we do. We win the series from uh, Colorado. Good job. So take two or three from them, and uh, looks like their off our offense was good again. Vargas, another good game, three for five. Um, Bar Barge, two for four. Elman, a good game. So he's playing injured, but he's uh, playing well. Gowdy picked up his 10th win. Castro got his 33rd save, but he's injured. So I'm probably going to have to um, be without him for a week, uh, which is okay right now. Ramos can pick up, pick up the slack, I think. So we're down into the last seven games of the season. And three games up on Atlanta. Five games over 500. We're playing Los Angeles. 
So let's just see how this series goes. And it looks like we may end up four games with Atlanta. That'll be good head-to-head -head match there. And we lose the first one against the Dodgers, 3-6. to six. Looks like uh, the Braves lost, so we didn't lose any ground. Ochoa, another home run for him. He's at 32 for the year. Rhea, a good game, but bullpen couldn't hold it for us. Ramos had a had a bad bad game. Two runs in a third of an inning. Dodgers again. Let's go one to three. Oh no, we can't do this. And let's see. Still up. Atlanta lost their game, so we're three up on Atlanta right now. Oh my gosh. Lockfield didn't pitch too poorly, so we just needed some more offense. This is probably the game. If I win this one, I'm in great shape. If I lose, it is really going to come down to that last series with Atlanta. So let's go. Rolling the dice. Oh. Three to four. Oh my gosh. Uh, but Atlanta lost. So it is going to come down to that last freaking series. Ochoa had a great game, two two home runs looks like in the game. Uh, Coriolan another pretty solid year, but the bullpen blew it for us. Oh. So Yankees are in the wild card. Um, Mets are eliminated, so they couldn't hold together that streak they were on. Looks like those sixteen games at home didn't help them either. So this is it, four games left. And it's against Atlanta, who we're three games up against. So we win this one, we're in. This is for the playoffs. Oh, and we're in. That's that's so satisfying. I know we're only 81 wins. It's been um, we're not lighting it up, but I'm telling you, this is um, this has been such a tough year with with injuries and everything. So I needed I needed this for uh, my my job. I'm pretty sure. Shrimpshire. Finally had a good game, his eighth win, seven strong innings. Castro picked up his 34th save, even though he's injured. So let's just play it out and see how we finish the season. That was a tough one. Lost two to three in 15 innings. Uh, not much going on offensively, but Gowdy had a, had a pretty decent game. Almost pitched nine innings there. Maylock, who I've called up, I think, middle of the season, he hasn't, or no, he was a September call up. He's doing okay, but he uh, looks like he blew it for me in extra innings. Uh, Toronto out of the playoffs, Royals out of the playoffs. The Oakland Athletics win the American League West. So let's see if we can at least finish above 500. That would be pretty sad going into the playoffs at 500. Ah, um, we do. We win 4 1. So we are at least going to have a winning season. Uh, Oviedo, a good game. Freeman, who uh, still, he's he's come off his pace since I picked him up, but he was a good pickup for us. He's going to be big, I think, in the playoffs. Rhea, good game for him. He's probably had my best overall year as a starter. He picked up his 13th win. Castro is 35th save. And uh, Dowdell, he's probably going to be the MVP in the National League. He has been really on fire. And Sean Barge, again, Rookie of the Month for the National League. I think that might be the second time he's won it this year. Good job for him. He won it both in September, it looks like, and August. So that's the kind of year that he's had. I'm happy that he's playing well. So did I look at that game? Yeah, because uh, Netsoff lost a uh, uh, former Philly. And then here's how we're going to finish up the season with another win. So 83 and 79, enough to make the playoffs in a very tight division. Um, I'll take it at this point. Um, and looks like it was another good pitching performance. Uh, Vargas did have a good game. Um, yeah, Lockfeld, thankfully, he, he came through and had a good good game for me. He's picked up his 13th win. So this is how the standings look. Um, Tampa Bay won in the East, and I was real surprised there. Yankees got the wild card. Detroit came through in a pretty tight race with Cleveland. And uh, looks like 
there's still maybe some Houston and Cleveland looks like it's going to be between those two for that final wild card. And then Oakland picked up uh, that division win. They're a team on the move. So we win the East. Milwaukee just crushed the Central. And then the Giants didn't win the division, but they did hold on and make the playoffs. So it was a good comeback year for them. The Padres, again, strong. And looks like St. Louis. St. Louis will be the other uh, wild card team. I want to look before we go. Um, I'm going to look at that player development update. I think we may have had some good things happen. Neris, who's young, uh, he's he's pretty much done. He's not signed past this year. He might be uh, his career might be wrapping up. He's now a one star player. But Joe Maylock improved a little bit. Devin Ketchum really improved a little bit in his rookie year. Kevin Gowdy, Raid Hecker, who um, I don't know if he's yeah he's he's back on the uh, I moved him up on that September roster expansion. He's going to be somebody I might look to trade in the offseason. Cole Staub. Vargas, though, he is continuing, continuing to develop. And, and in those games I played through, I, his name came up several times. So I would take this for a, a, his rookie year. I think it was pretty strong. My scout now has him at three overall with the four and a half potential. OSA doesn't have him as high, but... I think he played really well for me this year, leading off. Um, hopefully he can improve a few areas. My scout says he has room to grow in some key ones here in contact and discipline. If he improves those walks, cuts down on the Ks, he will be a very, um, I think, good good person in the lineup, good, good bat in the lineup. Anything else? Mast, he slid a little bit, but I'm still thinking he's going to have a, have a place on this team next year. But the next thing for me is going to be figuring out my playoff roster and um, looking at who I want to to showcase. I usually, in the playoffs, I would probably go with maybe a four. Uh, depends on how deep I go into the playoffs. I usually don't like going with a three-man rotation. I like keeping my starters rested, so I'll probably not tamp, tinker too much with the starting rotation. Um Bullpen, I'll probably go with the same 12 guys. Um, overall, um, pitching could have been a little bit better. Uh, I think the second half we slipped a little bit, and that's why we struggled winning the division. As for offense, Kanan Smith, he really didn't have that great of a second half, but he's still my catcher, and so no question he'll be there. Um, Barge, though, good, solid rookie year for him. Nova, didn't really get a chance to bat him too much after he came off the uh, DL, but I plan on more than likely starting him at third in the playoffs. Um, Freeman will probably be left to come off the bench, or he might start with Oviedo in the playoffs some. Elman turned it around. Uh, after a pretty poor start, his June, July, May, uh, May was pretty decent, but August was really good for him. September was good. He might have probably at least uh, got his starting job back. At least it'll be a pretty even platoon between him and Mast. Um, Vargas, of course, is going to be starting in center. Ochoa came through at the end of the year. He was uh, He's uh, got that hot streak symbol going, but he finished with 35 home runs. I think towards the end of the year, he slipped a little bit, but July and August he was really hot. And for his career, he's now up to 154 home runs for me. That's pretty good for four four years. Um, and I've got him signed through next year. Maybe I can convince him to stay around one more year if he has a good year next year. So that's gonna how that's gonna be how it looks uh, for the playoffs. I will more than likely play a few games when I get to the playoffs. The way I like to handle it, if I make the playoffs, I will play out the games. I won't sim. So. The way I plan on covering the next few playthroughs here, the new episodes, the next few episodes, I will play until that deciding game. Whether I'm up, you know, where the first series, you got to win three out of five. So if I'm, if I've won two, then the next game I'll play out and show that on the episode. Or if I'm about to be eliminated, that'll be the game that I play next or the episode that we have next. 
Um, we may also take a look at how some of the um, the statistics, uh, excuse me, the team leaders and, and the uh, individual leaders for the year, how they went, and look at some individual players and milestones for the year. But that might be a later episode after we get through the playoffs. But I'm really happy that I made it, and I hope that uh, this will be the first time in this playthrough and 12 seasons now um, that I've won the division. So at least I know I'm going to be playing three games in the playoffs. So we'll see how it goes, and hopefully you'll come back and check out uh, the next episode and see how far we can get. I uh, appreciate you watching this far. If you got any comments, please leave them in the um, section below, comment section below. And if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to the channel. You'll get updates when I release the next episodes. And plans are, uh, I'm going to play this series as far as I can. Um, I might not get through much more than another season, but at least we want to get through this season. I know 19 is coming up soon, and I plan on getting that and hopefully starting some playthroughs there, or at least maybe some um, videos showing, you know, some some of the features or something uh, that I'm liking about 19 when it comes out. But until the next time when we start the playoffs, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.